We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. Welcome back to another Black Series figure review. Didn't think I'd see these in 2023, but I'm excited. Uh, we're starting off with the Tuscan Chieftain. It's part of the new sort of Book of Boba Fett sort of themed wave. Um, also included is the single packed Cad Bane and also Din Djarin or the Mandalorian, the um, Glavis Ringworld, uh, which hasn't yet showed up, but I've got this one in the Pike Soldier. So excited to share these two to kick off the start of the 2024, I guess. So I'm going to save one of these at least for next week. I'm not sure exactly when I'll be posting these up, but you'll, you'll see them because <laughs> you'll be watching it and that makes more sense. Um, so here's an 06. It says on the back here, the leader of a tribe of Tusken Raiders, the Tusken Chieftain captured Boba Fett after his escape from the Sarlacc in the Great Pit of Carcoon. So excited to add this one to the to the shelf. Nice looking figure. Interested to see how they've how Hasbro's pulled this one off, whether there's some reused parts from existing Tusken Raiders. Or whether there's a lot, of, a lot of new parts, but we'll bust them open and take a look. Oakley dokley, let's kick on. We've got the Tuscan Chieftain here out of the packaging. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with this figure just from the get go. Um, had a quick sort of skim over the figure using some existing parts, which is to be expected. Um, the legs, feet. Um, I don't think the arms have been used before. Um, we'll get a good look at that after we take the soft goods over off. Um, because the original Tuscan Raider didn't have the butterfly joints. I haven't gone and grabbed one off the shelf because I just want to do the review on this one and just talk about how this figure sort of stands up on its own as opposed to comparing it against, you know, similar similar but different iterations. Um, I'm really excited to have this one in the collection in 6-inch because the, uh, the four-pack that came out in the vintage collection, the four-pack of Tuscan Raiders... Um, not made available to Australia, so that's a bit of a bummer, because I would have loved to have gotten that four-pack. Um, but unfortunately, Hasbro hasn't made that available down here in Australia yet, those sort of Hasbro Pulse exclusive packs. Um, and when they are, we've got to get them on eBay for extortionate amount of money. So I've decided to, just, yeah, I'll hold off. If they show up at some point in the future, I'll, I'll try and grab them, but, you know... Being able to get this one in the Black Series is really cool. I hope they do the Tuscan Warrior that I was able to get in the uh, Vintage Collection. So I'd love to see that one in Black Series as well. But for now, this one will display very nicely with the uh, with the, the Tuscan Nomad-looking Boba Fett. I think it looks really good. So I'm loving the soft goods on this figure. It looks really nice. The same sort of material that the Tuscans have. And sort of the sort of red markings, the red paint actually thickens up the fabric, so it sort of holds that shape really nicely. Just the one weapon, uh, the 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 staff here. It's really got the end of a uh, gaffy stick, but yeah, more of a staff, which seems about a bit more right coming from the chieftain, the leader of the leader of the tribe, as well as all the sort of intricate. Ornaments and trinkets and stuff hanging around the neck. So as far as I can tell, everything else is pretty much new on this figure. Again, the older legs, which is fine. You can, it's fine. You can't see the legs. It doesn't matter. But in terms of the paint detail on the figure, it's pretty damn nice. There's sort of the darkened darkened wraps up around the top there which I like from a uh, perspective of culture you know the Tuscans had the ability to use dyes to change the color of their fabrics they weren't all just so using just the same sort of tan colored outfits they were you know able to change the color of their outfits depending on their tribe and stuff like that I'm just attempting to move the arm a little bit here. So I think maybe, yeah, I have to compare myself, but perhaps that lower forearm there is from the existing Tuscan Raider. I think it is. 
Same with the hands, but maybe the other up, the up upper arm, perhaps. Again, like I said, I will compare to an existing one. I thought it might be different just because the fact that they've told this figure to have the butterfly joints. And there's still the uh, hinge up there. We'll go through the articulation shortly, but uh, yeah, just wanted to explore that the sculpt of the arm there. But that's cool. I like, I'm not unimpressed with that at all. That's fine. Um, in fact, you can roll the sleeves up and still have that sort of Tuscan wrapped look there. I think it looks good. So I'm just going to bring the camera up just a fraction more, just so we can get in nice and close. Some of the little intricate details here with the uh, the different ornaments, trinkets hanging from. The neck there we have the sort of breathing apparatus here it just looks like it could sit sit up underneath and they're all sort of pegged into the back here so there is a small peg hole they're glued in so they're not going to go anywhere so if you wanted to take the soft goods off you'd have to uh, disassemble and pull out those out of that peg hole or slice them up off in order to get to that so I'm not too fussed it's staying on there for me but that's a nice detail on there I reckon that's it's pretty good let's see if I can get that little oh, that's part of the sculpt I thought maybe if I could get that little green charm there to sort of sit through if it was a separate piece but it's not it's part of the part of the full mold of this whole thing oh it came out pretty well it sits okay, sits reasonably well. And if you really wanted to, you could, you know, glue that down and fix it so it looks like it's sort of sitting a little bit nicer against the torso there. But I, I don't think I'll bother. I think it looks fine the way it is. But yeah, the head sculpt is slightly different take on the Tuscan. Tuscan Raider sort of helmet with the mouthpiece. That looks really good. And again, like I said, with the with the different colours, it just stands them apart. I think I just really like that exploration of Tuscan culture, Tuscan Raider culture on Tatooine. You've spent so many years you know, assuming they are, you know, just well they call them sand people, Tuscan Raiders, you know. But they are very much just nomadic pilgrims that are protecting their own land from everyone else that are invaders basically but they're not without a moral code and not without accepting of people that are willing to learn their way such as Boba Fett um, so yeah not completely willing to to shut themselves off from the outside world they're willing to cooperate and we've sort of explored that through through the Disney era, which is great. I, I really do like that a lot. So yeah, articulation-wise, we've got a ball, ball-jointed head. There is a neck joint there, there's a ball and joint, hip ball socket and joint in the neck. We saw we got the butterfly joints and the ball hinge in the elbow, uh, shoulders, ball hinge in the elbows, with a ball hinge in the wrists, ball and socket joint there in the torso. And like I mentioned, with the older legs, we've got the the sort of the double barbell sort of joint in there. We've got the swivel at the top of the thighs. We've got the double joints in the knees. The hinge in the ankles and the rocker at the foot there. So pretty much all the articulation you could want from the Black Series. But yeah, a nice a nice looking figure. I sort of looking forward to this one since they announced it. It's a, uh, you know, it's, I like it when they sort of take a little stray path and, you know, just add in little characters like this. And the uh, Pike Soldier that I'll talk about in the next video. But yeah, I'm happy with this one. He looks pretty good. It's the soft goods is really, really nice, like I said. There's nice volume. Nice bulk of fabric. It's coloured and painted and, you know, stitched up well. The way it sits, it's, it's really nice. If you wanted to sit even heavier, you could wet it down and just sort of let it hang and dry out. It would take some take some extra shape over the over the arms and stuff like that. But anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please sound out in the comments below. 
we'll be back in the next video with the uh, Pike Soldier. So we'll see you for that video. Until then, may the force be with you always.